What up, boys? On Dad again. We were on Shadowlands Beta, and today we're talking about Outlaw Rogue. I've been getting a lot of questions about is Outlaw good? Is Outlaw bad? Blah, blah, blah. With a lot of people uh, wanting Outlaw to be bad, it seems, because they want to play something else. But I don't think. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. So let's talk about what we got that's new first. What has been changed? Uh, a little bit about covenants, a little bit about talents, and go from there. Uh, let's see. What do we have that's new? We have kidney shot now as a stun. Uh, between the eyes has been altered, so between the eyes no longer stuns. We have a separate ability in kidney shot uh, for the stun. Same as the other specs: twenty-five energy scales in duration with combo points. Blah blah blah. Uh, we'll talk about between the eyes in a second. Uh, I think that's a good change. We got poisons back. This means nothing. This is just single target damage that is non-interactive and boring. It doesn't spread through blade flurry. Only applies from melees. We have crippling poison or numbing poison. Uh, numbing poison will have some use, I think. It's actually pretty good. Uh, slowing attack and cast speed by 15% to mobs that you're meleeing. Uh, the application of shiv when you have numbing poison uh, will suit. This doesn't work on beta yet, but that's fine. Uh, we got slice and dice back is effectively having grand melee, our previous grand melee buff from BFA, all the time. Uh, Roll the Bones now doesn't cost combo points, so it's not an extra finisher we're spending. It's just we have grand melee. We have the, the attack speed portion of grand melee, always. Uh, so let me get into outlaw changes that are kind of based off the other things that we've seen. Roll the Bones is new. It is a 45 second cooldown. It only has an energy cost. It has a high energy cost of 50 sec or 50 energy, uh, but it has all the same buffs. Uh, the only w buff that has changed is Grand Melee, obviously, because we have Slice and Dice. So the way uh, Grand Melee works is combo points spent during Grand Melee just extends the duration of your Slice and Dice, depending on how many combo points. Uh, it also has a leech attached to it. So it's effectively the same it just doesn't have the attacks be built specifically into Grand Melee, but you you end up getting basically a full slice and dice buff, like a full five combo point slice and dice by the end of the Grand Melee. So it's a it's it's a cool way of doing it. The way they did that change, uh, I think, was very cool. Um, we'll see what reroll logic ends up being like. It'll be very niche when you reroll because. Roll the Bones, among other things, is affected by Restless Blade, so the cooldown's reduced. So there will be situations where you get the cooldown back while you still have a buff, um, and could potentially be worth rolling over this. We're, we'll have to get into APLs getting set up and get a lot of math done before we know the answer to that. Um, but this change at first I did not like. The more I play with it, I, I, I think it's fine. Um, the only reason I didn't like it was because it felt like a lot of the five head of outlaw was taken away which it was like knowing in keys when to roll when to pool resources for rolls when to when to start setting up your roll for the next pull um to really maximize your effective damage in a dungeon was like that's what made outlaw fun to me uh so that's been removed effectively but i think just the fluidity of the spec and how everything plays together is the specs is fine. It's this this does, doesn't. It's not a game breaker for me. Put it that way. Uh, blade flurry is different. We have one charge now. We do not have two charges of blade flurry. It is on a longer cooldown. It is 33 seconds, 15 second duration. But it's affected by restless blades. So when you talent into dancing steel in a dungeon, blade flurry effectively has 100% uptime. Which feels good. And this does big damage on application. I think they need to change the damage portion uh, the way I would recommend. Because currently, it does enough damage to be worth casting single target. Like this, for 15 energy, it does too much damage. Um, I think the way they change this is you have the damage it does. But if it hits two or more targets, it hits twice. Kind of, Kind of like... Um, I don't know how familiar everybody is with other specs and their their items, but uh, Warriors have an item, or a legendary item. When Whirlwind hits three targets, it then just casts a second Whirlwind. 
I think they could do the same thing with Blade Flurry. They could even make it three targets if they feel like the two target damage is going to be too high. They'll have to look at like whatever data they have as far as tuning goes for that. But I think something of that form to make it so that you don't hit this in single target uh, is the move. Because it feels real weird. That's, that's probably my only complaint about Outlaw Rogue right now is that you hit Blade Flurry in single target. And it ends up having such a short cooldown. It's like a 15 second cooldown with rest of, Restless Blades. You're just, you're hitting it a lot. Um, Dispatch does meaningful damage now. That feels sick. And Between the Eyes, this currently does not work on beta. Uh, but this is changed. It does half the damage of a Dispatch. It still does quadruple damage on crit. So if you're Between the Eyes crits and Dispatch crits, it's effectively the same damage. But instead of stunning, it applies a debuff based on the amount of duration, which is based on the amount of combo points you spend, which increases your crit chance and your crit damage against that target. By 20 percent um so this will be this will be actually something that potentially i guess it will still be cast in aoe because the damage is just it's a dispatch for less energy um so this will be something you hit on cooldown uh but there's a legendary introduced that i'm going to talk about in a second that i think is going to make between the eyes nuts is going to make outlaws burst aoe potential nuts uh, and just the spec, I think, is going to be very good in Mythic Plus, even though we are target capped. We are specifically target capped outside of Blade Rush to five targets or six targets. No, it's five targets, which in some dungeons will be an issue in other dungeons will not be. We'll have to see how the Mythic Plus meta plays out and how pathing works. Because that will have a big impact on uh, what classes are good. But Outlaw feels very strong. Even in the even in the dungeons that the uncapped classes are popping off, like Marksman Hunter currently and Unholy DK, Outlaw is keeping up or outperforming, uh, depending on player skill and how you pull a dungeon. Um, other than that, the spec is the same. It plays the same. Uh, we have no wits anymore, so we have no guaranteed. There's a little bit of dead air. Um in aoe where you're not you don't get into that groove of okay this sinister strike is guaranteed to double hit and then i pistol shot and then i finish and i sinister strike i pistol shot i finish if i have broadsides i sinister strike i finish i pistol shot i finish so that that cadence um isn't guaranteed to exist without wits we'll see we may get a legendary that is effectively keep your wits about you we may get something in our conduits because currently <coughs> at the time of this video we have no conduits either rogue just across all specs has no conduits so something may come through there that that helps to facilitate that we'll see however i'm not sure we will ever put on a different legendary ever again since they've given us this one and we'll talk about conduits after this legendary i just think the legendary is super important so master assassin is back <laughs> and I think this impacts Outlaw maybe more than the other specs. Excuse me. <coughs> because, one, we have a crit damage amp built into the class. And two, we vanish more often. Vanish is just like we have vanish all the time with Restless Blades. So if you're turning a... 33 second cooldown into a 15 second vanish effectively becomes a minute or under a minute whereas the other specs obviously every two minutes they're able to vanish and re-stealth so <coughs> excuse me so with that and and blade flurry doing big damage blade flurry does big initial damage so coming from stealth into a blade flurry between the eyes bang 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 we are super capable Sorry, I drink some water. A tickle in the back of my throat of just outbursting basically any other class on five targets. Like, if there's five targets there, Outlaw is sh shitting on everything. So, I don't know that we'll take this off. The dead shot, there is currently, we call dead shot or green skin as a legendary implemented, which after you between the eyes, your next dead shot does 200% damage. If we end up using that, I don't know. I don't know that the cooldown on... Between the Eyes is desynced quite enough from Vanish to, to really matter. That'll, that'll come with APL writing and tuning and, and 
doing some math to figure out that. But Master Assassin by itself feels amazing to play with. Especially with, and this is why I wanted to save talking about Covenants, with the Necrolord Covenant. So, Serrated Bone Spike is the Necro Necrolord Covenant ability. I talked a little bit about this in uh, the State of Subtlety Rogue video that I put up earlier. Um, but briefly, the way this works is it is a 10 energy builder. It awards one combo point base, does base damage, and then puts an infinite bleed on the target until that target dies or is healed to full. Then your subsequent cast of this, because it has three charges on a 30 second recharge, subsequent casts, <coughs> the initial damage is scaled based on how many other spikes you have out. As well as the combo points generated. So opening in a Mythic Plus pack ends up being Blade Flurry for big damage. And then you just throw out three spikes. Ideally, you're coming in with a roll, like you'd be coming from a pre <coughs> previous pack. So you have a roll, you have Slice and Dice going. And then you're just slamming out. You'll It'll be between the eyes in the case of once between the eyes works. You have three bone spikes, Blade Flurry hit. And a between the eyes, which is guaranteed to crit and does quadruple damage instantly as you enter a uh, a pack. Now, even better, if you go into the pack with full combo points and your roll and your slice and dice, your first goal is between the eyes. So that way, you have the damage buff up on your primary target. You send your spikes out to, to the alternate targets to buff your third hit. And I'm out of charges here, so great. But that'll have the Between the Eyes debuff on him already. So the, the spec is set up with a lot of interactions and things that work together uh, to be very strong. Which is the same to say for, for all the Rogue specs, but I think specifically Bone Spike feels like it was made for Outlaw Rogue. It gives a little bit of a funnel as well like on long trash packs where you set up spikes on alternate targets and then the later ones you're able to, to funnel in <laughs> it's a little like kind of pseudo mark for death play style as well which i know a lot of outlaw rogues enjoy playing mark for death even though it's not always the best option um and and we we've not lost utility if anything we gained utility well you could say we've lost or gained utility in the splitting of Kidney Shot and Between the Eyes. Uh, I feel it's a gain because you do not have a rotational stun now. You have control over your stun, uh, which I think is good. And obviously, we, we have access to Soothe now as well. Um, yeah, I think the spec is set up really nice. The other Covenants, I don't see us <coughs> using. Um, there's maybe a world where Night Fae is used for the extra Vanish. Uh, with Master Assassin. There's probably not a world where Slaughter is used. Slaughter Poison is just like, it doesn't seem like anybody's ever going to use that, except maybe Assassination, and even them, it lo just looks like trash for Sin. Um, and I don't think Outlaw's Burst is built around the damage of our finishers enough. It's more built around just like consistent blah, blah, beep, blah, blah, and the, our Bone Spikes, and... Um, our double hit sinister strikes and big pistol shots and just like uh, everything in the outlaw kit does damage right so i don't think the kyrian one buffing up like a giga finisher is going to see much play um which is fine because i think the bo i think the playstyle necrolord is actually the most fun at least for outlaw uh, night phase very fun for the other specs but i think if you're if your goal is to play outlaw rogue with current tuning uh i think necrolords is the move for you now we'll do we'll do an update to to this video probably i mean i'm hoping next week they will release the rest of the rogue legendaries rogue conduits and then maybe some things change here but as of right now uh outlaw feels very good it feels strong it doesn't feel overpowered um i'm a little bit nervous that it might be getting carried a little bit uh on single target and small aoe uh with by the Necrolord ability, and if that gets tuned, maybe it doesn't feel so powerful, but so far I'm very happy with spec. Uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, like I said, like you have to wade the waters, you have to get past 
the weirdness of New World of the Bones. I think that's the only issue. I think New World of the Bones feels a little weird at first. Once you get accustomed to it, I think the spec is really great, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to seeing what else they add with the with covenants and and legendaries. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more, because I will be doing an assassination one coming up soon, I've made a subtlety video about this as well. Please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get notified when I put some more stuff up. And also head over to twitch.tv slash undadtv. That's where I'll be streaming gameplay of Beta Keys Live. Um, I've done a full night of assassination, a full night of outlaw, a full night of subtlety. So now I'm just going to be playing what I think is best in every dungeon, which most of the time is going to be outlaw. Uh, there's still some stuff I want to mess around with some with uh, assassination. So I think you will see some assassination. And I do think subtlety is very good too. As they release uh, some other dungeons, I think when they release Sanguine Depths, this is what I'm looking at to be like a subtlety rogue dungeon. So this is not released on beta yet. We cannot, well, it's released on Heroic, but we can't do Mythic Plus. Uh, so keep an eye out for that when I'll be doing these other dungeons as they release them. We'll, we have the other side, Sanguine Depths, Spires of Ascension, and Theater of Pain yet to release. Uh, and trying to solve for what I think are going to be outlaw, assassination, subtlety dungeons, uh, and so on. So, thanks again, guys. I'll see you.